Here we are in Cubase. I'm going to show you how to route audio out of Cubase into your SessionWire Studio. If you don't have our suite of plugins yet, you can click the link in the description below, download the plugins from our knowledge base, or if you have a SessionWire account, you can head to the Downloads tab in the left-hand menu bar. Here I have a Cubase session, and this is just one way to set up. This is how I set up to broadcast a mix to somebody. Usually in a Cubase session, we have a stereo out channel, a stereo out bus by default. So if you have a stereo out bus, or if you want to use the listen bus, you can do whichever you choose. Just know that anything that touches this session wire send plugin is going to end up in the session wire studio. So on this stereo out bus, I'm going to go and click an insert. I can search for session wire send, select that. Here is the plugin. I'm going to flip back to my session wire studio in the browser. And down here at the bottom, we have the selection menu for the HQ audio stream. Now this HQ audio source, we're going to make sure is set to session wire send plugin. So that is where the HQ audio is coming from on my machine. And that's going to be the session wire send plugin. Make sure that's selected. I'm going to flip back to Cubase. We'll hit play and we'll head back into the studio to see if we have signal. There we go. We have signal in my stereo meters, which means I'm successfully streaming my HQ audio from Cubase into my session wire studio. Now, of course, like I said, that's only one way to route audio into your session wire studio from Cubase, but it is the easiest way to do so. We are going to leave bringing audio from the Session Wire Studio into Cubase for another video. It requires a little bit of extra routing, so stay tuned for that. If you have questions for us in the meantime, please reach out at support at sessionwire.com or check out our knowledge base, support.sessionwire.com.